All right, here we are with part two of the video. I took the um, potion, and all I did was walk out here and then press play really fast. So, um, you yeah, haven't really missed anything. You missed a little bit, you know, transition period. That's not much. And tail whip. Come on, man. This guy is actually most weak to water, too. So I guess that is strategical. That two of the monsters are weak to water, and one is weak to dragon. But still, the last one is actually pretty difficult. I dodged his roar, so now I can go like this. And I need to sharpen my weapon. As you see, it went down to green, so it's less sharp, which means it can't really cut through the armor as well. And I try, I'm trying to get to a spot where, um, you know, he can't hurt me. You know, safe to sharpen my weapon, because it's that period where he can just, you know, hit you and everything. Well, I got the hit off. Ooh, and I'm not caught on fire because this is a armor set that is very high resistant to fire attacks. As you see, it did not do that much damage. Alice is almost dead, though. That's not good. I'll heal her, you know. It's always good to heal your friends. Oh, I didn't even know she said LOL. Oh, how did that not kill me? <laughs> oh, explosion. I hope you're impressed with my video so far, Gabe. It's been 300 hours of total accumulative playing online and offline to get this good, so. Oh, I missed. Oh no, don't do it, don't do it. Well, there's nothing I can really do about that, because that's a very accurate attack that he uses. Now, um, when we do make our video, I don't want to post this one online, because um, this isn't what you would call a speed kill. Speed kills are, you know, basically what you put on YouTube. It's just, you know, the fastest kill you can get. And, you know, people don't want to see things like this, so, you know, don't post this one, and I send it to you. That would be a bad boy. I'd be naughty. Because this is not a speed kill, this is just for demonstration. Ow, how did that do damage? That was dumb. I'll heal us both, since, you know, we're both, you know, fairly low on health. You know, it doesn't hurt to help. Sometimes you like to save those life patterns though, for when you're in danger, like she was that one time. And see, now he's kind of drooling a little bit. And now he falls over. That means, you know, he's pretty weak. I'll just throw a poison knife because it does a tiny bit of damage. That not hurt. I've actually, you know, it's a coincidence, but I've actually done online with her before. Out of all the, you know, thousands of people that play this game, I have played an arena this exact one with her, which is odd. We didn't get a record time together, though. Don't sleep me. Aw, oh, dang it, I'm asleep. Oh, <laughs> try to kick me to wake me up. <laughs> yeah, when someone's stunned or asleep, you know, and you're not, just kick them, you know, wakes them up, unstuns them and everything. Um, so that they're not just kind of vulnerable and stuck there. One monster left. Here we go. This is the big one. I'll set out some drugged meats so that he'll fall asleep. See, she said, "Ugh, ho." <laughs> His name is Devil Joe. I think it's pronounced. It's like Devil J H O, and its nickname is. I'll try to sleep him. She's trying to flash him. You know, he's the hardest one, so you want to use all your good stuff on him. Now while he's flashed, you know, maybe I can sleep him. See, look how much damage he does. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Now he's asleep. Heal myself. Set a bomb in front of his face. Good job. Thank you. 
Now, let's see who's gonna set off. She'll set it up. She'll trap him, and then she'll set off the bomb. And you know, didn't really look like much, but that actually does quite a bit of damage. Right there. He's coming for me. He's coming for me. Whoops, that was my bad. Screen error. I'll try to get in some attacks. You know, I kind of need to heal myself, but I'll get in some. See, those traps, they usually last for about like five. No, not, not five seconds. What am I thinking? They last for like 20 seconds for big monsters. I mean, for small ones, but for like big ones, like huge ones like him. You know, it, it doesn't last as long. I fought him quite a few times. This is actually the monster that I've killed the least, I think it is. So. I'll set another trap real quick, you know. Doesn't hurt. See how he's in rage mode, how he's all red? Before he wasn't all red. I'll throw a dung bomb at him since he was eating me, and now he can't eat me anymore. Oh, that was perfect timing, too, for, tra for trapping him because he was about to do his dragon breath attack, which is very strong. He's actually the element that he's second weakest to is water, so I'm not so bad off. Just don't use, like, fire and stuff on him. Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, see how much damage that does. You can try to dodge it, but, like, she did. She was close enough to him where she could dodge it. And, um, so, you know, she didn't get hurt. And see that thing by my name? That's dragon, and that means that every hit I do, I do less damage. Even though my already attack is still pretty dang high. The, even though I have defense down S, um, this armor actually has a pretty good defense. Got this up. I'll try to flash him. See, when he's in rage mode, it's pretty hard to flash him. So I'll just do it now. Still didn't work, come on. Oh, well, that was a fail. My bad. And now, see, another thing is when he attacks you with his mouth like that, um, see how I have the down arrow now? That lowers my defense even more. So now it's at like 316, now it's at 254. I mean, that's a lot of damage that was just inflicted on me. Now he's going to eat one of my meats, and hopefully it'll put him to sleep. Nope, didn't work. It's not, I'll lay a tinged meat so that it'll paralyze him if he eats it in succession. So you put those meats down, it only works on this monster actually. He'll eat the meat when he's hungry, and then what it can do is it'll, you know, make him sleep, paralyzed, or poisoned depending on what meat you choose. And I dodged that. Even though I couldn't see him, I knew which direction he was going towards, so I could dodge it effectively. I'll use a life powder for us, heal us. That was, that was good timing. Now I'll try to sharpen my weapon, since it's down. Oh, she's laying a trap. Here we go. Are you throwing a rock? Missed. Come on, man. Come on. There we go. See, the traps don't even last that long, so it's... It's free hits, you know, obviously, where he can't do anything, but still, it's not that long. Whereas, if we were to do it to the earlier monsters, which have just been a waste since they're too, so easy, you know? Uh, except I did die. That's another reason why not to post this, you know, you never post it um, if you know, you're gonna die. But, um. weapon away so I can use my slash attack. The good one. It's just always best when you can use this to use it. See, and then that made him like flinch a whole bunch, you know, he's like, ouch, stop. And now he's gonna scream. She dodged it by jumping over there, which is very clever to do. That's what you do to dodge it, except I obviously couldn't dodge it because I was too busy being all awesome. I'll get a life powder while I'm standing here, and he's doing that attack. So that's time to kind of run away, you know, get oriented. Ouch. That hurts. Ouch. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'll do tinge me. I don't want to put him to sleep because we don't have bombs, so we kind of jump. See, in that time I did dodge it. 
And I'll put a drug just out in case. And he's going to eat it. Come on. Please work. Please work. There we go. And that's uh, an example of a tinged meat. It'll paralyze him. so gonna kill him. We got this in the bag. Oh, I thought he was eating her for a second. I was like, no. I'll put out a drug meat since he's only been slept once. See, the more times they're paralyzed or put to sleep or poisoned means the less likely they are to be poisoned or slept again because they build up a resistance. It's kind of like getting chicken pox. You know, you're not gonna get him again after you get him once. See, if I wanted to have done that, he probably would have started eating throw a bomb at him and he would have done damage. It's just those little things that save you. If he hit me with that, I mean, not much I could have done about that. I'll heal us since, you know, we're both sort of low. Not bad. So, you know, you don't have to waste time healing yourself later. I wish I had earplugs. Earplugs make it so that, um, well, there's two different kinds of earplugs. Just normal earplugs and then high-grade earplugs. High grade earplugs make it so that big monster roars you can dodge without doing anything. You know, they don't affect you, and then just normal earplugs is just small monsters, like the first one that you saw. He's a big monster, obviously. He's a big one. He's like the fourth biggest in the game, I think. Oh, final hit! Final hit, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Baby, yes. Baby, oh baby. I did it. Now I'm gonna charge your face. There we go. It's always funny to do things at the end of the quest, you know. Like it is. And let's see what rewards I got. Hopefully I got some good stuff. Yeah, at the in arena you get tokens, you know, after every quest and such. I got two devil coins, which are the hardest coins to get. I did not get a new record. Oh, man. That's okay, and I got a hard armor suit so I can upgrade my armor. And there you go, Gabe. I'll have to show you these two videos. Thank you.